Hello, hello everyone. I'm going to teach you something really, really cool today. That is what you enjoy doing matters. What you enjoy doing matters so, 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 so much. And that is all that I'm going to teach you today. Okay. So, uh, this is so cool that if you want to create the life that you actually enjoy living, all you have to do is you have to start doing the things that you enjoy doing. It's really simple. There, I have given this to you. Okay. That is the summation of the whole message. That is it. Okay. Now I'm just going to expand on it. That is what you enjoy doing is the cue for your soul to the direction it wants to move into for its most harmonious evolution. What I mean by harmonious evolution is the way you, you can evolve while having the best time of your life. That is your life path, basically. Okay? Your evolution need not be filled with, you know, thorns and, you know, frictiony stuff. No. It can be completely harmonious. Okay, and that is your life path. You have a life path, a life purpose timeline. And when you follow what you enjoy doing, you automatically align with that. Okay, and that's why I say that if there is something you enjoy doing, if the things that you enjoy doing matter so much, because if you just keep doing more of that, it will directly align with your life purpose timeline. Crazy things will happen. Your life will transform right before your eyes okay and i'm going to share a bit of my own experience okay how how i have realized this okay so it's like going 10 years back 12 years back when i was you know in school probably okay when i was like 18 or something going almost at the end of my school i used to watch uh, a ton of hollywood movies now i'm from india okay and english is not my mother tongue okay i my mother tongue is bengali okay i'm a bengali person okay and i also speak hindi but english is not my mother tongue but we get taught english in school but it was not something i was fluent in okay i can i could communicate you know and i could understand but not so much that i could ever think that i would ever become uh, a life coach teaching students all over the world who are native English speakers absolutely comfortably. That was not even in my wildest dreams that I would become a life coach. And also, you know, uh, that somehow all of this crazy stuff will happen. It was beyond my dream. Okay. That was not even in the realm of my dream. There was something, uh, if you would have told me that I would like, what, <laughs> you know? And the thing is, now where I'm at, it feels like the dream life. I'm living my dream life. I'm doing what my soul's calling is. It does not feel like work. It is absolute joy. It brings me growth. Every session that I do with my students, it brings me growth. It brings me so much expansion, joy, confidence, you know, ah, alignment, purpose. It's absolutely awesome. And then as I look back, like 10 years back, 12 years back, when I started, all the things that is happening to me right now, I have not forced myself to come here. I have not hard worked myself to come here. All that stuff did not lead me here. Okay. I flowed myself here. And in a way, I did not even know how it was happening. It has been magical. Okay, not that I did not have hard times, not that I never got, you know, uh, swayed into different directions, which was not the most aligned way to live. All that stuff happened. It was crazy, traumatizing. But I still somehow managed to come into this beautiful place in my life, which is something I absolutely, absolutely cherish. Okay. And the cool thing is when I was 18, I 
used to love watching movies, Hollywood movies, okay? And I started watching tons of movies. And back then it was just fun. I was not doing it for achieving a goal or something, okay? I started just watching movies. And I watched so, so many movies. I have stacks of CDs and DVDs and whatnot. And I watched them for like four years, five years, lots of them, okay? Now, what happened is that I never knew that what was happening, how many ways I was getting transformed into something that would help me to live my life purpose journey easily. I did not have a clue. All that I was doing was having fun, okay? Now, the thing that happened, the reason I'm saying is this, while I was watching Hollywood movies, I, I got fluent in English, you know? I started understanding all the nuances and the subtleties and, you know, how native English speakers speak English, you know, just by watching bloody movies, okay? And, 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 and then opportunities opened up for me to speak with other people. There was one friend of mine, you know, and they used to speak really good English. And I started talking with him and I started communicating. And because I was having so much input, my output was getting better, right? And... I got better in English in almost no time. It happened smoothly, effortlessly. No class could have done that for me, okay? And, uh, and yeah, it happened. And now it's almost effortless, as if it's my first language, right? I hope it sounds like that, right? And now that I'm living my dream life, it is my dream life. I, it's beyond imagination what I'm doing right now. And I feel like, how on earth I have landed here? What? How... Am I so perfectly ready to embrace all the things that my life purpose is wanting me to go towards? All the things, you know? I do uh, spiritual integration coaching. I'm a teacher of wizard consciousness. And I teach people who are native English speakers completely fluently in English. And all I did was watching movies. And I'm a musician. I play guitar. I play some other instruments. And I'll not get too deep into this, but... 90% 90% of what I do is because I enjoy listening to music, okay? And that's it. I, ha- I don't practice much, okay? The thing that I, I play and I listen, I only do what I enjoy, okay? And that is the essence of wizard consciousness. No work. No work. Do what you enjoy. Because we, you know, it's it's a journey. It's a learning process, Okay? But we have learned in a sense that what we enjoy, what we enjoy doing is fun stuff and it's not work. So it's not important. So we need to put that aside for, you know, when we are not working and only do the things that we enjoy in our free time, whatever time we have, because that is the relevance of it. You do fun stuff because of your own satisfaction. It means nothing for nobody else, not for yourself. It cannot bring you any growth and whatsoever. So why you prioritize it? And I'm saying That is the thing that you have to change. If you want to live a life which you enjoy living, you have to start doing things that you enjoy doing. Not just because if you just keep doing things you enjoy doing, you know, uh, your life will transform. Because when you do things that you enjoy doing, you grow the fastest. You evolve the fastest. All the relevant things in your life start coming into your experience, flow into your experience magically. Because you're choosing it. See, when you do the things that you enjoy doing, this is what happens. You tune into higher vibrations. You cannot but not admit that when you do things that you do not enjoy, you do not feel good. Okay? And I'm saying is, if you choose to not feel good, that is not a place from which you can choose to a life which will feel good. Because a life which feels good is at a certain vibrational state of being. You cannot come to you if you do not raise your vibration to that place. It cannot come to you. Cannot come to you. All you have to do is this. Slowly, 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 slowly. If you want to do it fast, fantastic. Okay? But no need. No need to disrupt your life like crazy. Start slowly prioritizing the things that you enjoy. Because that is the most important thing in your life. I'm telling you. What you enjoy, however, you know, irrelevant you might think that thing might be, whatever that you're doing, okay? You might enjoy 
walking. You might enjoy relaxing with your friends. You might enjoy, you know, listening to music. You might enjoy walking your pet. You might enjoy just, you know, dancing to music, you know. You might think like how on earth that is going to create the life that I want to live, okay. You cannot think your way into the place because it's a vibrational place. Your imagination cannot even conjure that vibrational state of being. So do not try to think how it's going to work. That's not the point here. The point is when you start doing the things that you enjoy, your state of being rises in vibration immediately. When it does, all the opportunities, all the timelines that are not accessible to you because they are in a vibrational place, which is not accessible to the lower vibrational state of being that you're used to, becomes accessible to you. You start seeing opportunities. You start getting access to imagination, thoughts, ideas, many things that will lead to even greater enjoyment. And you then follow there. You follow your bliss, basically. Yeah, that's it. You follow it. You get there your vibration rises more you follow all the more things that comes accessible to you that will help you enjoy more and then your vibration rises more and soon your entire life transforms it happens it takes a little bit of courage at first and most important it takes trust trust in your own heart because your your heart will always say yes that is the way to go about it but it will not always come with a lot of certainty from the mind because it does not see how it's going to happen so there will be a bit of cautiousness from the mind, which is completely okay and fantastic. But with trust, you can move, right? So this is what I want to give to you, that what you enjoy matters. What you enjoy matters the most, actually. That's the only thing that matters. And if you follow my advice, you will see how when you follow your joy, your life transform. It is really simple. I know. But that's just all that there is. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to apply it and see what happens. Leave me a comment. Ask me questions if you have. I'd love to interact with you. And I am a teacher of wizard consciousness. I teach. I have students and I want to take more students. I want to teach you how to create a most magnificent life. How to live as a creator. How to live like the wizard that you are. Create the magical life by understanding by taking charge of your state of being, you will be able to create the life that you want. If you want to know about working with me, send me a mail. I'm taking students right now. I'm so excited to work because there's so many things that I want to share. And if you're on Facebook, send me a direct message and I'll get in touch with you. I'll ask you some questions to see where you are at. And if I feel that you are somebody who is ready for this journey, I might give you a free session, completely free session, 60 minute session. If you want that, get in touch with me. This will not be available. I don't know, you know? So get in touch with me and have fun. And I'll talk to you again soon.